Yeah, go back and comment to Dick. Dick, I'm uh, glad you're feeling better. You're sounding good this morning, so uh, thanks for uh, getting up and saying hello to us. And uh, I don't blame you for sleeping in. <laughs> Always great to hear you, Dick. Thanks. Uh, thanks for making the effort to say hello to us today. Uh, here's TD5, E8 in the breakfast club, clearing with M2OUX. And I'm looking for Mike, W-H-C-J-J. Good morning, Mike. Come on in, let me pour you a hot cup, and Sid, you'll be next. All right. Uh, good morning,
uh, I'll get out here, sit back and listen in. Have a good day. KD5EH, KG9DD. Okay, Bill, a uh, great signal this morning. It sounded like you're in the driveway. Uh, and, I, and I think you're right. I'm afraid we're going to get some. I, I noticed uh, the forecast that they had moved it to 9 o'clock. They were first saying sometime from midnight to 6. But now they moved it to 9 o'clock this morning. So I'm thinking once we get out headed to church, we'll get caught in it when we come back. But, hey, that's the way it works. So take care, and we'll catch up with you again soon. Always great to hear you, Bill. Uh, here's KD5EH in the Breakfast Club, cleared with KG9DD. And I'm looking for Mike, uh, KC9LHD. Come on in, Mike. Let me pour you a hot cup. N9ORD. I got you, Bob. making the effort to come in and say hello to us this morning. Always great to hear you. Let me clear with KC9LHB and say good morning to Bob in 9 ORD, and nobody even had to relay you in, Bob. Come on in, let me pour you a hot cup. Hey, good morning, Ed. KD5EH, N9ORD. Good morning to all. I literally just turned the radio on a little bit ago. <laughs> So there we are. Oh, man, I, I was up much earlier. Then I went back just for a few weeks, you know. Well, do you know what happens then? <laughs> well, I got 23.7. 23.7 degrees. Cold out there. Forecasted high is maybe 30. <laughs> and beyond the sunny side, uh, probably throw some clouds in there just because they can. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what's going on here, Ed. Uh, I'm trying to wake up, boy, do I need this first cup of the day. <laughs> and I do appreciate you being there and pouring me a cup. I really do. Anyway, that's kind of what we got going here. I'll have to listen up in here and see if I can I can learn something else today. So there we go. I'm going to try. <laughs> it's remembering if that's the problem. <laughs> KD5EH, N9ORD. Whiskey Bravo 9, Victor Golf Oscar. Good morning, Bob. Hey, good morning, Mr. Bob. <laughs> and that ORD. Well, it's Bob Square. <laughs> I got you on the list, Bob. Uh, all right, uh, Bob, well, I got you 23.7 degrees this morning. Uh, you're a little bit cooler than we are. We're at 28. Uh, but I'm not going to be upset if the weatherman misses it again and we don't get the snow there predicting. Hey, that's the way it works. Yeah, it's winter time. Well, it's going to be anyway. Soon. <laughs> it's December. Huh? Let me say it that way. Time for it to get cold and and have uh, foul weather out there. Uh, just the way it works. Anyway, thanks for being there, Bob. Sounding great this morning. Sounds like you're in the driveway. I need to get up and check and be sure there's plenty of parking out there. Uh, thanks again for being there and saying hello to us. And I, I understand about waking up and, and then uh, putting your head back down. That never works out for me. <laughs> great to hear you. Let me clear with N9ORD and say good morning to his neighbor, Bob. Have you been on VGO? Come on in, let me pull you a hot cup. Okay, uh, very good morning to you, Ed. Uh, Bob there, ORD, my neighbor to the south, and everybody on the Breakfast Club who can copy, and even those who can't copy, good morning to them as well. This is WB9BGO, Pop and Downers Grove, Illinois, and 
think we're a bit colder than uh, ORD there. I got a temperature of 20.9. Going to get up to about 27 today, so it's going to stay cold uh, the whole day, uh, colder than yesterday. I was hoping to see a little sunshine, but I'm not really seeing it in the forecast. I didn't see it yesterday, I don't think. But I did get to see a little bit of sunshine. I saw my neighbor to the south there, ORD. A uh, group of us meet for breakfast once a month, and he was able to make it down and uh, got a chance to see him and chat a bit. And the best part is his wife, Trudy, makes these wonderful uh, jams and jellies. And, and, and <laughs> I got myself stockpiled. I got... Uh, uh, five uh, different flavors of uh, this ham jam that uh, his wife Trudy makes, and uh, I am anxious to open the first jar, and that's on my list of things to do this morning, uh, <laughs> getting the coffee ready, and going to have a bit of that to start my day, so that'll, that'll bring sunshine to my morning for sure. So with that, uh, 73, one and all, have a very good day, and... Uh, We'll, uh, well, I'd say Merry Christmas. Well, I'm going to be here uh, for uh, pretty much uh, most of the days before the net, so I figure we'll uh, get a chance to do that later on. We've got, a, got about a week yet here. Well, over a week, 10 days. Back to you there at uh, KD5EH and the Breakfast Club, WB9VGO. Okay, Bob. Well, sounding good this morning. I certainly appreciate you uh, coming in and saying hello to us. Uh, even even if you are cooler than uh, than your neighbor Bob, <laughs> I got you 20.9 degrees. And uh, take care. It's always great to hear you. Beautiful signals this morning out of Downers Grove, Bob. Uh, thanks uh, thanks again for making the effort to say hello to us. Always great to hear you. Here's KD5EH in the Breakfast Club, clearing with WB9BGO. And guys, I'm at the bottom of the list. I need some check-ins. Kilo November 4, Mike, Uniform, Foxtrot, Gene in Winchester, Tennessee. Kilo Romeo 4, Yankee, Bye Bye. KJ4, QNL. Okay, I got Gene in there, KN4 uh, uh, MUF. Uh, uh, I think I heard KR4 uh, YP in there. And uh, and I believe it's KJ4 QNL. I may have messed up the uh, prefix of that one. Uh, come back and let me, let me be sure what that is. KJ4 QNL. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, Gene, come on in. Let me pull your hot cup. KN4MUS. Good morning. Thanks for having me on this morning. It's always great to get on. This is the guy. I'm Ricky Lee. We have 41 degrees here this morning in uh, Winchester, Tennessee. We're up at the lake for the weekend at uh, Tennis Ford Lake. And uh, that was a nice while out there, but uh, we're up here for this weekend. We've got uh, one more week of school, two concerts to play for uh, the band to play. And, uh, then I'll be out for a couple of weeks for Christmas and look to get to play a lot of radio and, and change a lot of antennas around. That's always fun. I really enjoy that. Some people say I'm crazy, but I, I love messing with antennas. I don't know why. I just, okay. And just plug them in and see what happens. You know, but it's kind of exciting to me, but I enjoy it. Anyway, thanks for having me on. Thank you so much for what you do for, for having my programs by running the net and, uh, and giving us uh, all the opportunities to talk to each other, listen to each other, and, and just share. Uh, back in there, over, over. Good morning, Gene. Good morning. All right, Gene, well, you're getting out nicely, as you can tell, with Mike comments there. Thanks, uh, thanks for being there and saying hello to us, Gene. It's uh, certainly my pleasure to to be here and, and uh, talk to everybody. And it sounds like you got a great time planned, and, and uh, I, I know you'll have a good time being off for the Christmas break. It, it's uh, it's good to be at, at work and doing the things you do, and then it's good to take a break. So uh, I know you'll enjoy it, and I look forward to hearing you on the radio while you do it. Take care, and uh, thanks again for being there and saying hello to us. Here's KD5, 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 KD5,
Kilo, Romeo, Four, Yankee, Papa, Rick, Eric, uh, Moselle, Kentucky, and then we got 43 and over 43 degrees and overcast skies this morning. And you know, uh, doesn't get daylight till uh, after seven o'clock Eastern time, and and uh, the sunshine doesn't get down here actually till about ten o'clock and goes down about three. We live in a one of those clouds. Here the, at the foot of, uh, of an hour. So uh, uh, let's get on with the program and thanks for getting in. We'll, we'll catch you down the line again. And you have a, a, a good morning and a, a good day, my friend. Uh, KD5VH, KR4YP, Moselle, Kentucky. Good morning. Over. Okay, Rick. Well, I certainly appreciate you making the effort to get in and say hello to us this morning. Thanks for uh, thanks for being there. It's great to hear you. Uh, good signals. So here's KD5 EH in the Breakfast Club clearing with uh, Kentucky Radio for young people. And I'm looking for, I believe it's Kyle, KJ4 QNL. Come on in, let me pour you a hot cup. KD5 EH, good morning, Ed. It's been, uh, been a couple months since we've talked. We've got twenty eight and thirty Appreciate you being there, and 
sounds like a good plan to have breakfast and then get the yeah, coffee and turn the radio on. You're making me hungry already. Well, it's about that time of the morning. Oh, let me clear with uh, KA0XVXR. Uh, I'll get it out in a minute. And uh, it's that time of the morning. Let me see if Rick's out there. N4MBI, uh, KD5EH. Hey, good morning. It's uh, KD5EH. Uh, Rick, I'm going to Well, you're sounding really good this morning. Certainly uh, appreciate you being there. I know the guys will be anxious to check in with you. Uh, at 30 degrees, Rick, we, I had uh, Tom, N0ICQ, check in at minus 2 uh, from uh, Minnesota this morning. Minus 2 degrees. That's cold. I thought I was cold. We've got 28. And I thought I was cold, but uh, his minus two makes him the coolest guy on the list today. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's great to hear you this morning. Sounded, you're sounding really good, so I'll let you have it. And I uh, know the folks are anxious to check in with you. Uh, be sure and tell all your hello for us, and, and uh, I know you guys will have a good uh, next week here coming up. Take care. Uh, N4MBI, KD5EH. November 9, Oscar Romeo Delta, N I N O R D. Whiskey Alpha Niner, Papa Tango Whiskey. Kilo Alpha 8, Oscar India Delta, K A A Y D. A4 at sale. Morning, Milo. November 0, good morning, good morning.
Yesterday, Bob, that was really a good time. <laughs> anyway, boy, that was a pretty good group there, too. Anyway, let's see, Rick. Uh, uh, nice signal coming in here. Uh, I hear you really well. I want to tell you that right off the get-go. And as always, Bush, thanks for being there, too. You know that. Anyway, I got 23.3, 23.3 degrees. Talking about forecasted high at 30 degrees. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the latest and the greatest. Uh, uh, my computer's busy on me. <laughs> it got busy. Can you believe that? <laughs> uh, a little computer maintenance run in there right now. But in any case, uh, looking at a forecast at high 28, maybe 30 degrees, and be on the sunny side. I like that. So uh, the, the snow and sleet is on its way, though. <laughs> it's supposed to get here eventually. Uh, Maybe even later, later the, tonight and into tomorrow for sure. So we'll see. We'll see how lucky we get, huh? <laughs> anyway, Rick, thanks for being there again. And you and Miss Audrey have a great day. Appreciate it. In for MBI and nine O R D. Hey, sounding great out here, Bob. You and Trudy have a good Sunday out there too. And I hey, watch out for that snow and sleet and all that nasty stuff coming that way. Anyway, uh, 
wanted to say to Ed, uh, good job to him. A uh, really great job. Nice net. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, one of our best uh, net controllers. And we should have appreciated it. Thanks, Rick. You do a good job, too. I always, always like to hear you. Uh, like the way you handle things there. And your kindness is uh, greatly appreciated. K-80 ID, nothing to you. Uh, for a Merry Christmas uh, to you and your family, uh, Ray. Hey, Mal, a Merry Christmas to you and Alex. It's uh, great to hear you this morning, man. I think you've got a great signal coming in here. Uh, yeah, I think you've got a great signal coming in here. I think you've got a great signal coming WB9VGO, Bob in Downers Grove, Illinois, and uh, well, we're starting out uh, with a temperature of 20.7. I think we're going to get up to about 27 today. It's not going to be real warm, but uh, that's all right. It's winter, and we got to deal with it. As long as it isn't, uh, you know, the uh, the white stuff on the ground, I'll take the uh, the, the uh, cold weather any day. Uh, did you get a chance to uh, go to a breakfast uh, yesterday, ham radio breakfast, and I actually saw my neighbor to the south, they're in, uh, in the ORD, and uh, as good as it is to see all the people and talk with all the people and talk with Bob, the highlight of my, my day was uh, getting a, uh, a bag <laughs> full of the uh, ham jams I ordered from uh, Bob's wife, Trudy, and uh, I'm anxious to open the first one. I got five five different flavors to choose from. I'm really excited, so... Uh, 
I've been kind of I've had to deal with some of the store-bought stuff uh, last uh, couple of months or so, and it's not the same by any means. So, looking forward to the gourmet homemade uh, uh, style that uh, Bob's wife makes. Other than that, not too much new. Just kind of uh, sitting here and uh, enjoying the BC net this morning. So back over to you there, Rick. Have a good day, and we'll catch up with you again. And for MBI, WB9VGO. Hey, Bob, how did your uh, dinner report turn out? I hope it turns out better than mine. Well, uh, it, it, it didn't turn out bad at first. I mean, uh, the new dentist did find a crack in the tooth, so they're starting a root canal. And it was fine up until yesterday morning. Yesterday morning, I woke up, and it was swollen. And throughout the day, it kind of looked like a chipmunk. So I, uh, after I came back from the breakfast, I called him up uh, at his home phone. And he was really good about it. He prescribed some antibiotics, so I'm taking those. And it, it does feel a little better, like the swelling may be going down a bit. So uh, I do have another appointment on Thursday. It's never fun, but, you know, when you go to a dentist with pain, you want to at least know that there's something there and it's not in your head. Uh, over. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, I just went over for a tooth cleaning, and uh, I found out I had to have a wisdom tooth for getting cracked. And uh, luckily, I was able to get it done that day. Uh, he had to have a cancellation right after mine, so uh, I didn't care up while I was there. Okay, Rick, 73. Have a good day. Okay, well, you're fading down on me. Now the snow we were supposed to have, now they're saying we're not going to have it. It's probably not going to be mid-50s today, though. We got 28, 28 right now. Supposed to get a high of 39. Well, my teeth are doing real good over there in a cup of water. <laughs> Last time I saw my regular doctor, he said, well, you might get a, a reline on there, but... Uh, Oh, I wear my teeth deep, and I guess when I go out to see a few people and the rest of the time, they uh, they sit there in a cup of water and get cleaned up. Other than that, I guess there'll be a little more football variety today. There was only a couple games yesterday, and the second one, the Army uh, kind of let the Navy get the best of them there. And uh, they had the Heisman Trophy winner, and the guy that won it, uh, his team probably going to win it all this year. You know. Louisiana State, no Alabama. <laughs> anyway, looking on the calendar, only 10 days. You guys need to get them packages and envelopes coming this way. Well, really, need to get a few carpenters to come out and build a bigger bigger shack. I got plenty of gear. I wouldn't have room for much more. Need a bigger shack. And, uh, one of the carpenters I know is Ava and Steve. He went down to Florida and come home sick here in zero VCU. Everybody have a good one, and the uh, day is Sunday, by the way. KG5DX28.
Okay, uh, good morning, Rick, and good morning to everybody on the Breakfast Club. Uh, I've got a light copy on you this morning, but uh, I'm copying about uh, 75% and uh, just a long haul for us, uh, South Dakota all the way to North Carolina. But I am copying you, Rick, and thanks for running the net this morning. Right now in Pier, we've got 16 degrees, 1 6, and uh, going up to a high of 25 today. We had our ham club uh, Christmas party last week, and uh, we're at a barbecue place. We had a real enjoyable time. And I don't have uh, any other Christmas parties scheduled, so uh, we'll have to see if anything comes along. But I want to uh, wish everybody a uh, Merry Christmas uh, coming up, and uh, remind everybody that the Santa Net is on 39:16 in the evening. And that's the tailgaters. If you go to their website, uh, uh, it's a real enjoyable uh, net for uh, kids and uh, ham operators. So if you got any children and want to let, let them talk to Santa Claus, you can do that. So uh, uh, back to you, Rick. Thanks again. N four M B I K zero P I R. Hey, Rick. I missed you. One six sixteen over. QSL, QSL. Zero B W E. Hey, good morning, Rick. Good morning, everyone on the Breakfast Club. This is W D Zero B W E. Don here near Linwood, Kansas, a little ways west of Kansas City. Uh, see, right now we got 23 decimal nine, two three decimal nine degrees. Forecast says our high is only going to be 28 today, and I'm um, expecting snow to be here pretty quick. I looked on the radar earlier; it looks like it was headed this way, down between Wichita and Kansas City. So uh, uh, we're right in the path. I don't know how much snow we're going to get. I doubt if it'll be all that much. We're talking about maybe four inches at the most, and uh, if we can deal with that, pretty easy. May go out and chop a tree down today if the wind ain't blowing too bad anyway. That always makes a difference on which way the tree falls. Uh, don't much else. Hope everybody's having uh, a good time enjoying the season. Anyway, uh, we'll get there one way or the other. Thanks for the cup of coffee. Uh, everybody have a great day. N4MBI and the Breakfast Club, WD0BWE, 7-3-0. Good morning, Don. KC0, Kato, Charlie, 0 
just got up, so I ain't too alert yet. <laughs> but we got nine degrees with zero winds, two mile an hour gusts. Now, I don't know how to figure that, but that's the way the school gives you to tell me. But we're supposed to have cloudy skies today. I don't think we're going to get any snow. That's going to come maybe tomorrow or the next day. But we don't need it. We don't want it. So we got to deal with it when it gets here. So I don't know a whole lot more other than uh, to say good morning to one and all. Hope everybody's having a good Christmas season there for sure. So and for NBI, thanks for the cup of coffee, Rick. And we'll talk to you later. KC zero E I I. I'll be all done now. And good morning. Hey, Alan, uh, give me the temperature again. Uh, I missed it. Okay, it's nine. Single digit, just nine. Hey, okay, Alan, good to hear you this morning. And uh, great for you to get a little cold coffee here this morning. Uh, yes, uh, and uh, you have a good Sunday out there, Alan. Uh, well, for a cup of coffee, I've got plenty left here. This has been for MBI. This is the breakfast club. Guess we're going to catch him here one at a time. This morning, uh, in for MBI, uh, with the breakfast club, we're looking for check in. This is M4 MBI, and this is the Breakfast Club, where it's the Bible is. Looking for check-in, if anybody needs a cup of coffee here, a glass of orange juice. Don't make any comments, so uh, this is the Breakfast Club, uh, M4 MBI, looking for check-in. Alpha, Charlie 9, Lima, Victor. Kilowatt Zero, Victor United Whiskey, good morning.
But uh, we're going to try to get together with him this uh, this coming week here. I think Tuesday. We're start, trying to put that together. There. We're going to go out for breakfast here, a bunch of us here. But he's doing pretty good, though. Doing pretty good there. It's, things seem to be in remission now, and uh, he's got some other ailments there. But uh, he's, he's hanging in there. Tough old guy. Something else, but it seems like we're pulling out of it as I 
as I cough my head off. Hard even. But at any rate, 24 degrees. Got a great, I got the snow machine turned on. And uh, most of the day, uh, the snow uh, chances are at 100%. So uh, with that, uh, we should be uh, getting a lot of snow. The only problem with it is uh, my wife definitely wants to go to that party tonight. And we're going to have a lot of snow, and it's going to be all during the party. And uh, we got to get home. <laughs> and we're out here in the rural area, a lot of hills and ups and downs. So anyway, I've had it long enough. Hope you guys are doing well. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. John uh, came on before me, had a super signal. Hope he's doing good, sounding good. And I guess that's about it. Good morning, just everybody. I heard Paul. Now my memory's going. Um, anyway, just a big howdy to everybody and a Merry Christmas. And for MBI, K zero V U and a W.
Get it out. 26 going to up to Ohio 30 and S-N-O-W. I want to wish everyone out here out on the breakfast, out here on the breakfast, a very, very, very Christmas and a happy and a prosperous new year. And thank you for all you have done for the good old breakfast of this past year. And as I'm sure we'll continue in the year 2020. Uh, N4MBI from WA0AFD over.
and going down to 18. So tomorrow's high will be 33. And there should be some snow starting uh, maybe around after supper time or a little bit later and into the evening and tomorrow morning. But nothing real big or huge. Uh, looks like certainly less than two inches, it looks like. Other than that, well, we're looking forward to a good football game today. My uh, Chicago Bears on a three-game winning streak going up to Green Bay Lambeau Field. Uh, play them uh, Green Bay Packers during a two-game winning streak, so it could lead to a good game, hopefully for the Bears' favor. Anyway, I hope you're all getting into the Merry Christmas, Holly Jolly, Ho, 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 Happy Holidays, and uh, Rich, I spell holidays with a Z because it's getting crazy out there. I think I finished all my Christmas shopping, so looking forward now, just got to wrap it all up and then wait for the big day. Hope you all have a good day. God bless all the breakfast lovers. My name is Jerry. KC9, party today. A merry impeachment to you all. Simple fly, Gary, and Merry Christmas, Brad. WA0 AFD said that. Anchors away, Bill. Pack. Go Bears. Whiskey Zero, Golf Uniform Sierra. Okay, good morning, sir. Your signal dropped way down on me. I don't know what in the world happened. Uh, you were five and nine there when I checked in and just barely heard you bring me back in, so I'll make it short and sweet. It's 11 degrees, one, one degrees. The high today is 17, so uh, it's going to be a cool day, but no snow in the forecast, so that's it, and that's all. Everyone have a uh, Merry Christmas. I will be around like a donut later on uh, the week, W0GUS.
W4JGO John in Huntington, Tennessee. Huntington with a capital H. It's 37 and cloudy, and they got a 50% chance of rain tonight. And they, I just think you wanted to wish everyone a good day here on the Breakfast Club. Did I miss anything, John? No, that's just great, Bill. Thank you very much for the relay with before Julia called off her. Okay, John, my pleasure. Thank you for checking in. Back to net, WA0AFD, over. MBI K zero V U W recheck. Yeah, I just got thinking uh, an old trick you might try is rather than use your attenuator, back your RF gain down to right at that threshold. Uh, that allows the uh, front end of the rig to uh, try to disseminate some of those signals. It might uh, help you a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what kind of noise you're getting, but the uh, uh, problem with attenuators, they tend to, uh, you know, put a, uh, a blockage on the RF coming in as well. Anyway, just a suggestion, and uh, great to hear you. Still holding up great here in Wildwood. And I'm glad you knew what that 610 Charlie was. This, uh, the SX-28 is absolutely, it looks like somebody just took it out of a box. Absolutely unbelievable. So, uh, we just got it hooked up last night, so I got, I was going to play with it, but these stupid parties and everything getting in the way, you know, you got to sit down and concentrate on stuff, especially that transmitter. So, uh, I guess I'll get into it full bore, uh, after we get home tonight, if I'm still able to, if not early in the morning, about 3 in the morning, I should should be playing with it again. Anyway, thanks. Just a suggestion. Uh, don't mean to, you know, just thought it might help. M4MBI, K0VUW. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is what you're saying? Pole pig? Okay, yeah, I misunderstood you. Well, I gave you that suggestion there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you got a 22? Boy, I've been thinking about that. Oh, yeah, I got a 22, all right. Yeah, gee, I don't know. If it's darn kids or somebody shot out my life. They'll replace it. Maybe they shot it five or ten times. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, you have a good one. Sir, Wall Street Journal, KD Zero WSJ. I just woke up for second round. I was up about uh, one thirty to two, two thirty, something like that. Not much going on. Whoever was tentatively going to be uh, running that didn't do it. I am Tick Ritchie off again. Boy, he's easy to set up. Uh, right now we got 29 over here by Stockton Lake, southwest Missouri. Supposed to go up 36. Man, looks like we're going to have some rain, maybe sleet, maybe snow, who knows what. And then uh, later on tonight, Mm, about 28 for a low Sunday night. And it looks like definite snow into Monday morning. Uh, it ain't going to be much, but well, they're making a big deal out of it on the TV. I don't know. Don't bother me much. I'll just stay indoors. I'm going to have to go outside for five minutes, throw in a bunch more uh, firewood through that hole in the wall right next to the wood burner. But I can handle that. I'm a tough guy. Um, like I say, just woke up, and I kind of have some coffee. My glass carafe, my container, cracked about 30 hours ago. And my God, the old man, he's got a stash of them. He gets them from the, oh, I don't know, the, the charity second, second hand, the Goodwill store down here. They, uh, save the carafts and they throw away the coffee makers that always plug up with the lime. But doggone it, the base is a little big for this coffee maker, so I'm going to have to call him this morning and ask him to check his stash and see if he's got one with a smaller base that'll fit a little bit. Other than that, it's, it's virtually identical with the one I cracked. I don't know how that happened, but there's the doggone thing. Chinese stuff, don't you know? Um... 
I need to wake up enough to get your call sign and get your first name here in the next few <laughs> I didn't get anything written. This. I use small, small yellow legal pads, the small ones for uh, uh, kind of kind of a log. I tear them off and stuff them in the back when when the page is full, but it does the trick. Nah, I got some kind of record. Anyway, all you gentlemen have yourselves a great day. Stay on the warm side. Uh, I wake up about every two to three hours to throw in a couple logs and uh, visit the back door or front door or library. Well, something about getting old. I don't know. K0WSJ, we'll go back to now. Okay, Rick, well, thank you very much for the past hour. Always, you do a great job. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I'm sure we'll cross paths between now and the 25th, but just in case. Uh, I'll ask uh, one more time, is there anyone else out there who would like to run the net this next hour? Uh, especially someone running for the first time. It's a great experience, and you, you'll feel much closer to the Breakfast Club uh, uh, being that so anyone else want to pick it up because uh, I'll be more than happy, happy to uh, uh, relinquish my uh, uh, take. Anyone else out there that like to run the breakfast club this hour, WA0AFD? Well, I, I think we had our moment of silence for the day. Well, I'm going to cut to the case and simply say my name is Bill. I'm located in Chesterfield, Missouri. A suburb of St. Louis, uh, approximately 20 miles, I think it's more like 23 miles west of downtown St. Louis, where the Arch is located, and overlooks the Mississippi River, which divides uh, Nine Land, the land of Lincoln, and uh, Zero Land, of course, the Show Me State. This is the Breakfast Club. Uh, I'm going to ask for relays and uh, and phonetics, if you would, please. I am hearing impaired. And sometimes the D's and the B's and the V's and the Z's get all humble jumble. And if I guess I should step on someone or don't hear someone, please help net control 
and relay them in. Uh, in just a moment, we will take regular check-ins. I beg your pardon, we'll take mobiles and or portable stations. But we do have a wonderful tradition, and it, it revolves around respect. We have a moment of silence for those silent kings that have gone before us, and of course, those who started the Breakfast Club in 1958. And we also want to remember all those who gave their life in sacrifice, that we may enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy today. Of course, that's all of our military, but I'd sure like to include those first responders. Many first responders have lost their lives during 9-11. So if you would, out of respect, a moment of silence for the Breakfast Club. This is WA0 on AFD. Thank you. That was very much appreciated. Do we have anyone operating uh, a mobile? A mobile and or portable. Uh, by the way, if you're short time, just so indicate when you check in. Uh, we do not take a list of short timers as such. So we'll always acknowledge you if you so state. Mobiles and or portables. WA Zero AFD Breakfast Club. Question 9, Mike, India Mike, portable zero. Wow. You about blew me away there. I got MIM. Who else? I believe you're running solo there, buddy. <laughs> you about knocked me off the chair with that signal. <laughs> W9MIM. WA0AFD. Where are you, portable zero, please? Okay, I believe you said the name was Bill. Uh, very good. Whiskey 9, Mike, India Mike, Portable Zero, Clinton, Missouri. Clinton, Missouri. We've just got up a, a little infed here. We uh, came to Clinton for the winter, uh, kind of a transplant from uh, Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. Uh, got some uh, kids around here. I live around the Clinton area. And uh, I had a stroke a while back and decided... Uh, It'd be a bad winter up there, and so we decided to uh, spend the winter here in Missouri. So, uh, of course, we were born and raised in Missouri, so, yeah, very good. Uh, Bill, I heard you say you was in Chesterfield. I just wanted to mention that uh, this was back in the 60s. Uh, I used to uh, patrol the railroad track at night from Lavity, Missouri, to Chesterfield, I headed the trains along the Missouri River there, along that set of bluffs uh, between Chesterfield and Lavity. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, that uh, I done that for about two years, and uh, I was uh, uh, stayed there in Lavity, had an apartment there, and um, so uh, very interesting. Uh, but that was a long time ago, Bill. We're uh, <laughs> I've crossed a lot of bridges since then. So hey, thanks for letting us in there. Certainly a nice signal from you also. I believe it was WA0ASB, uh, if I'm not, I might be wrong on that, but uh, anyhow, if I am, why, I'm sure you'll correct me there. So, with that, uh, back to you, Bill. Uh, WNIMIM, name is Mark, Mike Alpha Romeo Killer, over. Wow, what a signal, Mark. Oh, yeah, now, I'm familiar with Labity and the railroad, all that good stuff. Uh, you're F yeah, I am Bill. Of course, my given name is William, but uh, anybody calls me William, I duck. <laughs> yeah, well, we returned to St. Louis in 85 after a seven-year stay in uh, Columbus, Ohio, and we moved into this area. At that time, it was St. Louis County Unincorporated. That was 85, but it was called Chesterfield, and then, of course, they uh, incorporated, I believe it was either 87 or 88. And I believe we got about 57,000, so, uh, but, yep, uh, okay on being with the rail system, uh, monitoring the rail there uh, from Labity and Chesterfield. And uh, I'm sorry to hear about the stroke, but take care of yourself, and it's good to be around family. Uh, I'm, I'm 81, although I have uh, four sons and grandchildren in the metro St. Louis area here. Uh, I am a widower. I'm by myself. As of 2018, so uh, the family is very important, especially around the holidays. QSL Marcus? Yes, yeah, sir, same here. I uh, widowed about two years ago, and um, it, uh, it gets, gets pretty lonely. And I lived uh, out in the country there in Wisconsin and thought it wouldn't be a good idea to try to spend the winter there by myself uh, since I couldn't shovel snow anymore. 
and we usually get about 50 inches a year, so <laughs> I didn't want to try to deal with that. So thanks, Bill. Uh, seven three. We'll probably check in uh, uh, pretty much every morning here on the on the Breakfast Club. Uh, I've listened to you guys for years, and I uh, used to check in once in a while in Wisconsin. So good to be uh, hearing you and checking in again. Seven three. Thanks, Bill. W nine M I M Portable Zero. Yeah. Do you belong to the Breakfast Club, Walker? No, sir, I never did. I know I could have, but I, I just never did do it, and uh, we probably will do that, though. Yeah, it's optional. You do not, I repeat, you do not need to be a member. Uh, go to hamdata.com, one word, hamdata.com, and scroll down to the Breakfast Club. In fact, it even gives you a form you can use. It takes 10 seconds in no particular order. So, and I'm, I'd be delighted to be the first one on that list. <laughs> So, uh, yep, okay, yeah, I lost my wife to cancer in August of 18, and uh, we were married 50 years, and she had made her 80th birthday, and uh, she was on hospice, and I carried her through that six months of hospice, and um, I'm so grateful for her, and I'm grateful for the fact that she died peacefully, but the dogs on it, I sure, sure do miss her, Marcus, because I'm sure you can understand. QSL? Yes, yeah, sir. Mine was pretty much the same thing, and uh, mine was in November of uh, of uh, 17 there. So, yeah, uh, sure do miss her though. You know what I mean there. Her memory lives on. Okay, look. Well, we look forward to um, look forward to having you check in, and if you ever make it over to Chesterfield, let me up, everybody, and uh, uh, we'll have to get together and have a cup of coffee. And I'll bet you, Marcus. I'll bet you 10 to 1 we can solve most of the world. If they would just listen to us, you know, I'm sure of that, Bill. <laughs> okay, okay. W9MIM, uh, uh, WA0AMD. Real pleasure to uh, check in this morning, and I'm very happy to try that one again. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you over there in Clinton, Missouri. Uh, this is the Breakfast Club, and I'm getting a little on the wordy side here, but that's nothing new. But uh, that's just my nature, and I'll probably never change. Do we have any more coffee drinkers out there for the breakfast club? WA0AFD, over. Kilo Charlie, 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 Charlie,
um, I did something that the look on her face, I should have had a recorder because it was, it was amazing. Um, I had a number for Santa Claus, and she kept telling me, did Santa bring anything? I said, well, you haven't asked him. So she said, well, can, you know, I, I can call him. She said, you can? So I did that number, and all of a sudden the recording came on, and it's ho, ho, ho. And the look on her face, Bill, and her eyes, and the smile. And then, then he said, you know, be good. And I, he gave his little speech. And then after the tone, please tell me what you want. And holiday wishes. And she rattled off. I want a vampirino this. I want that. I want this. That's what we've gotten her already. She don't know. And, um, and then done. They text you back. And you answer that text. And then Santa talks to her and says, yeah, I got the message. You know, I'll... Well, I got my L's working on it, and the look on her face, Bill, was priceless. Everybody on the Breakfast Club, have a great Sunday. Do your worshiping wherever you go, even in a closet. It's just as good. You're here. And uh, everybody have a blessed and prosperous week. God bless our veterans, our troops, our first responders, our teachers, and definitely God bless us. Uh, Everybody on the Breakfast Club, the United States, our president, we need all the help we can get. Back to WA0, ASD from K4 LFJ. Hope you got a good copy on me. <laughs> the only problem is, when you were describing that the cookie you're about to do, you made me so hungry, I might have to take a break here and go upstairs and get something to eat. <laughs> well, Jose, I have a 14 grandchildren, uh, which five are granddaughters. And uh, we had all boys, my wife and I had four boys. So you better believe that those granddaughters are special. And last night I was over in St. Charles at Lindenwood. My uh, granddaughter, Sabrina, competed in the gymnastics. And I stayed to the better end and gave her a big hug and uh, congratulated her. So uh, you better believe that those granddaughters. And that, that's such a neat story there. <laughs> Catching Santa Claus and having him reply, wow. I better move on here, Jose, but uh, I hope someday uh, we have a chance to have an eyeball. I think that would be a wonderful thing. But in the meantime, I've uh, got your 38 going up to 57, and you're going to do some cooking, and now you got old Bill hungry. <laughs> we're clear with K4LFJ. Now we're going up to the city so nice they named you twice. I would say, Mark, I haven't heard you use that lately. Have you abandoned that? Uh, the Liberal Republic of Johnson County, or how's that go, W0TRG, WA0AFG, over. Yeah, hey, good morning to you, Bill. Good morning to the, uh, to the, uh, Breakfast Club, W0TRD, Iowa City. Yeah, Bill, good morning. 10.2 on the wake up. It's cold this morning. 10.2 out there in the Liberal Republic of Johnson County. The city's so nice, they named it twice, the land of fruits and nuts, and everything's, everything's sopped in some frost out there when I had Riley out for his lap. It's going to warm up maybe to uh, 25. They're talking about a chance of snow this evening. Good golly. Oh, my, what a mess. Okay, Bill, thanks for picking it up. We're doing some reading here and riding along with you. Enjoy it. I just got my copy of the new newsletter. And we're working our way through it. Hey, thanks for picking up the the, uh, the ship. W zero T R D Iowa City, Bed Seven Three. Good morning, Mark. Morning. Who is that? Was that young oh, people? Uh, I reckon so. Good morning, Bill. Is this Rick? Uh, no, what? Oh, this is it. Uh, AR four YP, right? That's right, Roger. I recognize your voice there, buddy. <laughs> got you. All right, Mark, got you 10.2, got your snow coming, and uh, we've got snow about, I think, around 10, 12 o'clock this morning. I'm not sure exactly, but it's supposed to get pretty nasty. So, anyhow, thank you for checking in. Got your 10.2. By Yemeni, we're going up to our first South Dakota station and see what Gus is up to. 70 GUS, WA0 AFD, good morning. Bill, did you get the K6 station? No, I did not. K6, Charlie Oscar, November. Ah, got him at Mark, I mean, uh, Gus, would you mind uh, yielding to him? That's Con out there near Sacramento. Would you mind yielding to him? 
No, of course not. Pick him up. Hey, Con, good morning, uh, and thank you for uh, relaying your gift. I didn't hear him the first time. K6CON, WA0AFD, over. Roger, Roger, Bill. Well, thanks a lot for the relay. I appreciate it. Just get over cool. You better put a hanky over your speaker so you don't catch it. <laughs>
made me such a deal. I could sell it on eBay and get triple what I paid for it within a day, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep that old Hot Water 101. That was actually the first radio I ever transmitted on. Um, I borrowed one from a buddy of mine, so kind of nostalgia getting that thing going. Anyway, that's it. Thanks, Bill. W0GUX. Okay, Doc. Yes, we look forward to hearing you on that 101. Okay, Doc. Well, we're clear with W0GUX and soon to bring us uh, an HW 101 when he gets it cooking. Yeah, by golly, we're going down to southwest Missouri and see what Michael's up to. I think you're near Stockton Lake. KD0 Wall Street Journal, WA0AFC. Good morning. Oh, heck of a deal. Good morning, Bill. Um, I would like to suggest, since we're all pretty much a bunch of old farts, you guys go to Health Impact News and look at an article, Should Seniors Be Getting the Flu Shot? Well, I kind of panicked when I see this new flu zone, four times the dosage for elderly. Uh, I should take note that since the flu zone shot has been given, the death rates for elderly has gone up ten times. That's ten times. Ten times as many people dying now that they've got a four times stronger flu shot for elderly. But in this article... Uh, 2014, a nurse working at an assisted living facility in Georgia contacted Health Impact News when all of the residents allegedly developed a fever after receiving a flu shot. Within one week, five of the residents had died. You know, you guys draw your own conclusions, but it's a death and a needle from my opinion. And I don't care to debate it. Just uh, go read the article. Health Impact News. Should seniors be getting a flu shot? Amazing. Uh, over here in southwest Missouri, we got 29 going up to 36. Uh, wood burners working just fine. Had to open up the uh, heat exchanger a second time here in about a week. Nah, a couple small holes I either missed or they weren't quite through the metal. The uh, three-inch diameter tubes have been rusting for about eight years. and they're getting pretty thin, but they make a uh, black sealant for sealing chimneys and stuff. And it uh, turns into a, like a hard black plastic. Works pretty good. So I've been doing patches with that and some uh, thin sheet metal from uh, uh, from one of the old tubes and uh, about shit <laughs> the vertical tubes um, and put a big gambat stuff on there and snap it in place. And one's got a clamp going around the three inch pipe, but that uh, works pretty good. So. Not burning any propane, but while we're going through a chunk of wood, the uh, massive stump I cut and hauled out with the loader the other day, uh, boy, if it had been a half inch longer, it wouldn't have went under the log splitter. That thing must have weighed five, six, seven hundred pounds, could hardly move it. I had to take the big saw and cut it in quarters almost down to the ground. And it's still a struggle to move it around. It took me about an hour and a half to bust it all up. But my golly, she fits pretty good in the wood burner. I don't think I'm going to be cutting any more pieces that big. All you guys have yourselves a good Sunday, and please go look at that article, Health Impact News. Should seniors be getting the flu shot? Don't do it. KD0 WSJ. We'll go back to WA0AFD. Bill, back to you. Well, Michael, uh, yeah, I, I will I will read that article, however, I wish I'm, uh, I, this year I got my flu shot at my doctor of internal medicine, and I didn't suffer any consequences. I will tell you this, it's been a number of years ago, uh, I had that flu, and one minute I was afraid I was going to die, and the next minute I thought I was afraid I was going to live, I was so sick, and I've been a believer ever since on uh, the flu shot, but... Uh, yeah, I know this year there were some changes, but I uh, I went to my doctor's office and got the shot this year, and I figured he ought to know what he's doing. So, but uh, and I haven't died yet. I know I will someday. But thanks for the input. Keep warm, bud. Nice big booming signal here in Chesterfield. We're clear with KD zero Y S J. Now we're going up to Ivanhoe, of Minnesota. And Tom, how are you this morning? N zero I C Q W A zero I F D over. Today, with maybe a few years, I'm trying to come out of the 
Wait a minute, you said you're at three, you're going up to 16. There's proof of global warming, Tom, QSL. <laughs> yeah, I think you said minus six this morning. Brr, that's cold, buddy. Anyhow, beautiful signal here in Metro St. Louis, and as always, thank you for checking in. We're going down to Cordoba, Tennessee, uh, which is a suburb of, of, of Memphis. We'll see what Bob's up to. KN4 FBN, WA0AFD. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Bill. This is KN4 FBN. Bob, calling Cordoba, Tennessee. Uh, doing well this morning, and after that last check in, uh, we're up to a kind of really a balmy temperature here. We right now it's about 41 degrees and it's kind of 57 today. And we have about a 70% chance later in the day of rain and thunderstorms. So uh, it's pretty good compared to uh, what's going out there in northern Minnesota. Anyway, it's a busy day for uh, me today. Uh, we normally take things this morning, and then this evening is uh, annual candlelight service. Lots of good music for our awesome little choir. I had no copy on him. Would you give me his data, please? 
I didn't catch this uh, temperature. EII, yeah, what's your temperature, please? Eight. Eight. Oh, my goodness. Eight degrees. That's above zero, though, so there you have it. Thank you. Uh, can we zoom in with the relay? Okay, Gus, thank you very much for the relay. I could just barely tell he was in there. You got your eight degrees on it, and uh, I can just thank you. For Once again, I like to restate that. I just like Gus to step up to the place there and help net control. You know, we got a lot of copper up there in the air scattered about the, the state here, and someone's bound to help. And uh, when net control comes in, like uh, Gus just said, please help out. It's not only encouraged, it's greatly appreciated. So thank you, Gus. Thank you, Harlan. Keep warm, buddy. We're going up to Pierre, South Dakota, and see what Rich is up to. Yeah, okay. thank you. Zero you right? Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Bill, uh, WA0AFD, and uh, good morning to everybody on the Breakfast Club. Good copy on you this morning, Bill, and uh, yeah, thanks for picking up the net. Right now in Pier, we've got 16.16 going up to a high of 25 today, and no snow in the forecast. So uh, thanks again. Well, everybody's got good signals this morning. Thanks again. Uh, back to you, Bill. WA zero AFD K zero PIR. Golf Romeo X ray. Was oh, that you, Hank? Roger, Roger. Okay, I got you. Yeah, we've got snow forecasted here this morning around uh, 10, 12 o'clock in that window, and uh, we're getting a variety of how bad it's going to be. But we'll have to wait and see. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to set Hank uh, kind of far out there. I'm going to go ahead and bring him, and then I'll pick up the uh, KR four young people after Hank. Anyhow, Rich, good signal this morning, and keep warm, buddy. Uh, K zero PIR. We're going up to Kenora, Ontario, and Hank, you come in there and give us his uh, his uh, warm temperature. V E T T R X W zero I M P. Is it warm and balmy up there, over? Morning, Bill. Uh, coldest day yet, WAS, WA0 AFD from Victor Echo 3, Golf Romeo X-Ray. 22 below zero, Bill. 22 below zero. And uh, no mosquitoes, and uh, all is well. Thanks for the coffee. Thanks for picking me up. 7-3 to all, you and all. VE3 Garrett. Well, how would you know if you've got any mosquitoes? Thank you. Don't go out looking for them, do you? Yeah, I was out. Uh, uh, I got up uh, about 10 minutes ago, let the little dog out, but she wouldn't go out. So uh, I got her down on the beach with the ham shack with me here at home. I don't know if you were uh, doing business here, I'm sure. You feel enjoy oh, right. for yourself about your temperature. Hank at minus 22 Fahrenheit. And he said, uh, they have no mosquitoes. <laughs> That's a good one, buddy. Hey, thanks for checking in. Always a pleasure to serve you a cup of coffee here from Kenora, Ontario. Okay, back to the list we go, and we're going over to this guy says he's a young person, and I would never question that. KR4YP, wa 0 AFD, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Okay, you and the gang, this KR4YP, you're at Nova and Kirby, and hey, Bill, today we're going to be in the suburb of Timbuktu. We're a step ahead of Timbuktu. And, uh, you know, there's, there's um, uh, some things that uh, required uh, tools, you know, tools of the trade. Uh, it's um, a, a pair of lineman spires, um, uh, a 12-inch adjustable wrench, and uh, a number two belt screwdriver, and a flat screwdriver. And uh, they had them pretty much right here in front of me, and, and they trust me, I can unfix just about anything that's, that's fixable. Uh, hey, we got 43 degrees here at Moville, Kentucky this morning, and the sunshine just came up a little while ago. We just got the twilight in, but uh, that's the sunshine. If you don't get down here in, the, in between these mountains, in between the rest of the hill, about 10 o'clock, and it goes down about 3 o'clock um, uh, this time of the year. So uh, uh, we're, we're in the twilight zone, uh, real high. But good morning to you, my friend. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, that other station, uh, he said we were just a bunch of old, uh, uh, old elves there, and, uh, and I consider myself a young person. And, uh, you know, he's got a young person, too, and 
burr. And uh, anyway, hey, I'll see you in another 10 minutes or so there, uh, Bill. And I've, and I've got to give uh, Shorty your extra, extra treat here. Or she's just going to be uh, crying about it all the morning. So uh, that's uh, what, what we have there this morning. W-A-0-A-F-D and then that W-9-W-J-O. Yeah, W-A-0-A-F-D, W-A-F-K-Y. 
That's not too bad. We're expecting snow here in Metro St. Louis. And snow uh, triples this area because we don't get enough of it. So people don't know how to drive in it. So um, I try to stay as close to the home front as I can when it snows because of uh, self-preservation. All right. WA zero AFD. I'm going to see if uh, uh, Earl's available. I, I don't have anyone to pass over to you. I want to thank everyone who checked in this morning. We had a good net, a lot of good fellowship, a lot of good exchange, and a little bit of levity. Uh, young people over there with his uh, all-purpose toolbox. <laughs> Hank up there with his minus 22 degrees below zero. So uh, thank you all very much for checking in. Uh, but I'm sure we'll cross paths between uh, now and the... Uh, so, but I want to wish everyone out there a Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous 2020. Anyhow, W9WJO, are you ready to pick up the helm there, buddy? W0AFD, over. Yeah, W0AFD, W9WJO. Yeah, we're uh, ready to go here. I don't know, I'm running slow this morning, though, but uh, I'm barely ready, but uh, I don't know what's going on here. I just... I'm having trouble with my computer here too. It's, I think that's half my problem trying to get it to work. Well, I've got one website I always use here for looking up calls, and it's not. Oh, it just now clicked up. I just seen it there. <laughs> it's getting slow, so it must be froze up. What do you think? I'm not sure. It's frozen water. <laughs> oh, be careful. WA zero AMD. Well, uh, all right, we'll go ahead and pick her up here, Bill, and uh, say good morning to everybody. Welcome to the Breakfast Club, where old-timers are never forgotten and newcomers are always welcome, and this net's open to all amateur operators. And if you'd like to join the Breakfast Club, you can check into 10 uh, different sessions and go to hamdata.com if you'd like to get my name is Earl, W9, or WJO, and I'll be taking calls to this session of the net. Before we get started, I'd like to take a moment of silence in remembrance of the silent keys that passed on from our net and those who gave their lives in defense of our great country. Uh, thank you. First off, uh, do we have any mobiles would like to check in? Come now. All right, nothing heard, so I'll go ahead and take regular check ins for this session of the net. Whiskey, India 4, Mexico, WI4M. Alpha Delta 5, Sierra X ray. Kilo Zero, Papa India Radio. Lima, Sasha, Joe, Romeo, X-Ray. All right, I got WI4M, and I got FCG, GUS, I think it was ICU, and uh, and Zero JA there, and uh, I got a lot of. A lot of doubling going on there, so uh, uh, let's see if I can get some more sorted out here. Kilo Zero, Papa, India Radio, K0PIR. Lima, Papa, Juliet. All right, I got uh, Rich, uh, PIR, and uh, LFJ. Uh, Any more? Golf Romeo X ray. Yeah, I've already got you there, Gus. Oh, I doubled there with Golf Oscar. What was the rest of that? Whiskey Four. Golf Romeo X-ray. All right, got JGO down here, and uh, uh, who else? You got Hank in there. V three GRX. Uh, the uh, three. Uh, uh, come come again with that three call. That was VE3GRX. Uh, GRF, right? Victor Echo 3 Golf Romeo X-Ray. This is K0PIR. Okay, GRX. All right, good enough. 
thanks for the uh, relay there. I kind of thought that's what it was, but it, I guess I, uh, well, anyway, never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, we have any more? And zero at pay cues. Are you taking regular check-ins? CS zero CW. All right, I got CS zero CW there. All right, uh, well that uh, gives us about a dozen to work with here. So uh, how about in zero? I guess we can get started here a little bit. Take some more check-ins here and in, uh, in a little bit. So. Uh, Let's see if say good morning to uh, Sid there, WI4M and W9WJO in the Breakfast Club. And stand by Tom, FCG. Now, WI4M and WJO in the BC. Here's Sid. Located at Madison County, Kentucky. Where it is, 3730 Friday, an old gray day. Anyway, sounding good old, good coffee. Okay, we got a lot on the net this morning. So back to net control. WNL, WJO, and the BC. WI4M, good morning. All right there, uh, Sid. Sounding good this morning. Uh, thanks for uh, checking in here. So, uh, yeah, things are uh, starting to come around here. Well, I'll tell you, we had, had some on both sides of us, I think, there with... Uh, Pretty wide here this morning, so uh, maybe get, the propagation's getting a little better, so everybody's getting getting over them, or, or either that or there, or they've uh, gone away. Don't know which it was here. Anyway, uh, K0FCT, good morning here, Tom. Welcome to the Breakfast Club, W9WJO, and uh, stay by uh, guys. Usually uh, kind of winding up my evening about to get ready to 
watch the news and go to bed, but if somebody has to be on a little bit earlier, well, I might uh, chew the rag with you guys a little bit. Uh, I think I checked last night about 8 or 8.30, and uh, didn't hear anybody. That's just a mirror. Oh, back to you. W9, uh, WKO, and the good old breakfast club. All right, was that a check head come again? No, he has to come in. Uh, what frequency were you planning on using at 930 on, uh, was it this one? Yeah, you're on the list there, uh, Floyd. It was Paul Hanks there. Excuse and, uh, yeah, about the uh, uh, 160, I was on there last night and, uh, who asked? Well, I had Gary here check it in with me, I think it was, or Dave. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I had to get my notes out. But uh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't usually get there until about 9 because I don't know. I get uh, watching TV or something and get uh, running here after uh, for 9 o'clock hour and get things turned on. And it uh, might take me a few minutes. And. Uh, I can't remember. I think I was watching Lotus Grand Channel there and watch them work on cars there and run in here and get on 160. So that's the way I, uh, I've been doing it there, Tom. I'm not a early to, early to uh, early to bed kind of guy, but uh, I'm trying to get better at it, Tom. Go ahead. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, QSL. Yeah, we, uh, well, we don't uh, turn in about 9 o'clock, so we usually watch.
time will get all of it. Or you might get six, seven inches, something like that. But you never know. I mean, uh, I, I will say this. The reason I say you never know is we had a foot of flurries one time, and I've, I've been countless times saying you can't get a foot of flurries. Well, I, they forecasted furry, flurries. Yeah, <laughs> flurries. Anyway, uh, and we had a foot of snow when I woke up in the morning, so uh, that's how accurate it can be there, uh, Jim. Yeah, I know what you mean, earlier. You got to just have to take it uh, minute by minute around this area. W9WJO and 0 AJ. All right, thanks for checking in there, 7 3. And uh, good morning, Rich. K0 PIR uh, in the Vipers Club here, W9WJO. Stand by, Jose. Good morning, Earl. Uh, boy, a good copy on you this morning, and a good copy on just about everybody. Uh, right now in Pier, we've got 17.17 going up to a high of 25 today. No snow in the forecast, but we still have some snow on the ground, probably a few inches in the yard anyway. Thanks for running the net, Earl, and uh, take care. Uh, back to you, A0PIR. All right there, Rich. Sounded good this morning. Uh, so, uh, sound like everything's going fine there. I've been a few times. Uh, you got, you was a little light on me there for a while, but you're back to normal there. So, uh, must be the propagation or something. But anyway, 73, thanks for checking in. Uh, next, I got, uh, Jose here, K4LFJ and the Breakfast Club, W9WJO. It's stand by John, JGO. Well, good morning, uh, W9WJO. This is K4LFJ. Good morning, Earl. Uh, we got over here a 39 degrees, 39, and we're going to have a high of around 57. With maybe 10% chance of rain. Nothing much going on. Still doing the recovery on the rotator cuff surgery. And uh, it's going very well. Uh, other than that, we're, uh, we're hanging around here, waiting for uh, the extra aisle to get home from work. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, make some uh, chick uh, bacon wrap chicken thighs on the smoker. Smoke them up with some apple, apple wood uh, pellets that I got on my pit ball. So we'll smoke that up and, uh, and have a good dinner when she gets home. Uh, thank you for picking me up early and what you do for the net. Got a great signal coming into Powder Springs, man. S9 all the way with our S10 audio. Sounds like it, man. Good deal. Uh, back to W9, WJO, Mr. Earl. Hi, Kilo 4, Lima Fox, Rob Juliet. Over. Okay there, uh, Jose. Thanks for uh, checking in. And uh, you're banging in here uh, uh, real good. And we had to check in. Who was that? Kilo Delta All right, got ECQ on the list. Sounding good. So, uh, next we got John here, W4JGO. Uh, good morning, W9WJO. And uh, stand by Hank there, GRX. I also hear uh, PIR in there. Good morning to uh, Rich. 
Garrett. Yeah, that's the record for this morning. I figured it would be, but what are you getting up to today? I haven't turned the computer on. I got a thermometer outside. I check that every morning with the flashlight. The 22 below, it'll probably warm up to uh, uh, maybe 30. I don't know. It's uh, been cold and getting colder every day, so it's hard to say. Over. All right. Well, thanks for uh, uh, getting uh, checked in here this morning. And, uh, but it's making my bones shiver here just uh, thinking about that there. I, so uh, 7 3 to you and say good morning to uh, Floyd there. N0 XAQ in the Breakfast Club, W9 WJO. Stand by Gary, Tango Whiskey. Yes, sir. Good morning. Uh, and uh, N0 XAQ in Orlando, Florida. Good morning, Gary. You're coming in here a good uh, nine. Go ahead. Temperature is going to be up in the 40s today. Pretty hot when you get there. And zero, it's sticky. Yeah, I'm just looking there. At that time, you had a little bit more uh, punch behind you. You hit. Uh, you were just uh, knocking on uh, plus 20 that time, Floyd. Okay, I like that. Thank you, Hap. All right. Do you have any temperature down there? Well, I have it showed on the TV right now, and uh, we're having outside the bomb there, but it was down in the um, 20s. Okay, that's all right. We're just uh, getting there, comparing everybody this morning, but uh, that's fine. Anyway, thanks for checking in with me this morning, and 7 uh, 3 to you. And uh, good morning, Gary, KF0TW, in the breakfast club, W9WJO. W9WJO, or all in the breakfast club. Good morning. I have 28, 28 degrees here, and uh, really good copy on you, Earl. Uh, great. I don't think there's ever a time when we don't have a good copy on you. Uh, I don't have this good copy on you. The Royal Wing is here. Uh, anyway, uh, maybe someday I'll make it on to 1895, but uh, it hasn't really happened yet. Thanks for the cup of breakfast club coffee. I've been oh, dabbling in JS8 call lately, by the way. Uh, I like that uh, digital mode. This is Kilo Fox Talk Neuro Tango with Gary and Raw Military. And Zero JA. All right, got you down here, uh, John. So uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to have to get on there. I, I just. I don't know. It's a few things I uh, uh, I just ignore I ignore after a while. I'm going to have to get back to it. But uh, we'll uh, we'll try to get on there too. We'll do the best we can there. I think what happened is I haven't had this uh, DVAP turned off in probably a year and a half. And I was redoing some stuff on my shelf here and. I haven't turned it back on, so I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> so uh, thanks for checking in, and uh, I'll have to put that on my list to get that going here. Because all I have to do is to plug it in and uh, get it started up. So uh, anyway, 7 3 you, and uh, next to say uh, good morning to Brad, KC9 KRX, and Breakfast Club, W9 WJO, and stand by Don. Around Brad, KC9 KRX, W9 WJO. Well, let's see here. I guess I must have lost him there. We'll uh, check with check in with him a little bit. W9 DON. We'll get that. Uh, is, uh, is the lid froze on the uh, orange juice jar this morning, Don? Uh, come on in and. Uh, have a glass, W9 WJO, stand by Dave, RFS. I have a little bit cool for the morning. That's okay, it's warmer here at the house. W9 WJO, get over it. I'm sorry about it. It's John, instead, it's a two three five. That's located here at the beautiful overcast. 
find in, uh, oh, I don't know, <laughs> find chicken teeth or something. I don't know. <laughs> They're about that rare, you know what I mean? Uh, Don, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Earl, uh, hey, CJJ in that mic. Uh, I don't know, you garbled up. I couldn't understand. <laughs> I got it. Oh, I doubled with you. I said I got CJJ on the list. Yeah, thank you, man. you a couple of times. You must, uh, must have caught you out of the room. So since you're here, go ahead and take it. Uh, KC9 Care X and then that W9 WJO. By the way, stand by Dave, RFS. Okay, W9 WJO. Yeah, we got a refill. Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, KC9 Care X and then that W9 WJO. computer log uh, and um, it, it's not a free one I think it's only about thirty dollars or something like that but I've been using that for probably uh, 15 years he updates it regularly 
He also runs contests, um, um, uh, logging programs along with it if you choose to, to purchase the whole system. But it is one of the easiest ones. And the other thing I like about it is that it, it, um, it connects to all kinds of other programs. So like uh, I run um, FT8 and it automatically picks up everything from FT8. When I make an FT8 contact, it does the same thing. It pulls all the information about the guy and then uh, uh, puts it in the log. So it's, it's just a fantastic program. And you just uh, do a, a Google search for N3FJP. Scott does a great job. WB2UFO. Oh, you think, sir? Yeah, I think I did look that one up. I think it's a share where, and then you have to uh, uh, pay uh, yearly or something for QRZ, which I never do, but I probably ought to. Okay, thanks for the info. KB0, RFS. Okay there, uh, Dave, Larry, and uh, by the way, Larry, you'll be up right after Wayne here, so uh, uh, good luck on uh, getting the login program. I just can't think of the name of that one. It's been so long uh, since I messed with it that uh, I used to do it when I was uh, oh, working on the uh, so scan stuff and, and that, but uh, I haven't done that for quite a while. So many things I've started and just wandered away from. All right, enough of that. Better get with the show here and say good morning to Wayne, WA1, YNE, and the Breakfast Club, W9WJO, and then uh, stand by Larry, UFO. Yeah, so. Good morning, Bravo 9, Victor, Golf, Oscar. All right, got a YTH and VGO. And uh, before you get away there, Wayne, what's your temperature now? I tell you, you went down to about nothing on me, and then you come up here to 10 over trying to hit 20. So uh, conditions are uh, changing there. So I got you 28 for a high, but I missed out on what you are now. Go ahead. Okay, zero, V, U, W, portable zero. All right, I got AUX and VUW down here. 
and I put A-U-U. I tell you what, my pencil don't do what I tell it, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it'd do any good to uh, get a different pencil there. But, uh, <laughs> all right. Thanks for checking in, Wayne, 73U, and good morning to Larry, WB2UFO in the Breakfast Club, W9WJO, and standby Jim, uh, WYB. <laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. I have that problem, too. I, I, I ran the net yesterday uh, when Len was gone, and uh, not, not only did the pencil do what it wanted to, but uh, then by the time I got back to it, I didn't recognize it as a, 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 a letter. It, it might have been a number. It might have been a uh, a, a uh, <laughs> um, just a squiggle, and um, it was uh, very hard to read once the ink got dry. <laughs> anyway, uh, 21 degrees here. 21 degrees. Uh, looks like it's going to go down to 19 or something like that today, and it's supposed to be all kinds of snow and everything tomorrow. Uh, which is going to be interesting. I was supposed to go in for a sleep study tonight uh, at the uh, hospital locally here and then um, uh, spend the night sleeping there and then get up in the morning and go home in the snow. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep thinking about all that snow that's falling and what my trip home is going to be like. Anyway, oh, back to uh, N3FJP, if you're still listening. It's kind of interesting. Uh, yes, you can if you choose to. Uh, pay for a, a QRZ, um, what do you call it, a membership. And then when you do, uh, when you work somebody, a, a box opens up, a little window opens up with the picture, whatever uh, 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 photo that person has on their QRZ um, um, website and um, information about that person. But you can also just download a file from N3SJP, uh, which um, and it has, you know, um, all of the, um, what do you call it, uh, all the call letters and uh, call signs and, and information addresses and stuff like that. And um, the only problem there is you, you have to update it every once in a while and it gets old pretty quickly. Uh, but I used to do that way back when, uh, just download that file every once in a while and update it. And uh, then you don't know, have to join um, QRZ, but then I wanted to join QRZ anyway. Uh, and um, and that's how I, I now now I am you know a member of QRZ every year. And when I when I work, and it's kind of fun to have that picture come up. Usually it's a picture of the person, and then you can ro roll through some of their, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, some of their uh, pictures of their station, and then there's a little map that shows you exactly where they are. And uh, with some of the BX uh, stuff, I have no idea where they are, and it's kind of fun to be able to look at the map and see where in the world it is I'm talking to. Anyway, um, and I don't get paid by N3FJP. How do you like that, Scott? I, I have no connection to Scott. I just have been using that program probably, I don't know, 15, 18 years or something like that. He really stands behind it. Anyway, with that, um, thanks for the uh, cup of coffee this morning, and uh, let's hope the weather stays a little a little clear for us. Uh, WB2 UFO, I'm not on. Okay there, Larry. I was just uh, deleting the email popped up there. Uh, all right, thanks for uh, checking in and the uh, logging info. And I, uh, anyway, I'm not uh, using anything like that at all. I'm using a, a pencil and, uh, and a spreadsheet here. <laughs> I guess I'm old-fashioned here, but, uh, but I like it. Anyway, 73U, and uh, good morning to Jim, K9WYB, uh, and the Breakfast Club is W9WJO, and standby current, K9N. Yeah, W9WJO, and the Breakfast Club, this is uh, K9WYB, uh, Jim here in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. And, uh, oh yeah, the temperature. <laughs> I'm not totally sure I ever, ever, ever understood the, uh, the total importance of everybody's temperature anyway, but like, uh, 
the previous station was saying that it's what is it, 14, 14 degrees over here. And the only one that stuck in my mind this morning was that station up in Canada with 23 below zero. Holy cow. As far as logs go, I don't use electronic logs. I've, uh, I've been associated with computers my entire career. I was data processing, ICT, IT management, and everything else 41 years. And uh, that was my whole life. And I've got five computers in this in this uh, house here that are networked together, and I use TSK32 and what's that program that sits you on two meters? I can't remember the name of it. They don't use it very often. But when it comes to logs, I, I'm like you. I got the only ARL log books to my pencil, and uh, a lot of times when you check into a net, you can just tell that the net control station is is using a computer because he's paying more attention to what he's measuring than he is writing down the call and doing the net. So I now like a regular, I like a paper log. That's one phase of ham radio. I'm keeping it the way it was. The other phase is QSL card. Yeah, I don't go for the QSL and all that stuff. You send me a card, I'll send you a card. I don't need any postage. I don't need, need any SASEs. But if you send me a card, I'll send you a card. That's just the way I do it. That's just my way of doing it. Uh, W9WJO, K9WYB. Okay there, Jeff. Well, you know, one thing about uh, the temperatures, though, it's always nice to see the variety. And, uh, and see there, it got, the temperature's got a holy cow out of Jim. What do you think? Yep. <laughs> All right. Thanks for checking in there, uh, Jim. And uh, say good morning to Kurt, K9N in the Breakfast Club, W9WJO, and stand by Dave, uh, East CQ. Hey, okay, W9WJO, Kilowatt Echo 9, Norway. Good morning to you, Earl, and everyone else on the Breakfast Club. I did copy my friend down in Tennessee, uh, W4WJO. Uh, John, he and we had a good meeting on Friday night at the uh, local club meeting, so if you're listening, it's good to hear you, and uh, things are fine here. Earl, we got 17, 17 degrees here in Roscoe, which is in between the Linden and uh, that Motley crew down in Rockford, Jerry and Captain Bob, KU9I and AC9LD. I'm kind of stuck in the middle of all of them in Roscoe. But that's the way it goes. You know, you're talking, I actually do log typically with an electronic log book. I've done that for years and years. However, I do resort to a written uh, log and with notes and things like that once in a while when I have to. And that's commonly around here referred to that, uh, that type of logging. That's the WG-180. And the WG-180 stands for 180 page of uh, uh, notebook from Walgreens. So that's why the WG-180, that's a nice log book. You don't have to worry about any uh, viruses getting to it or any kind of problems. Uh, you don't get the spam advertisements on your screen or anything like that. The only thing you got to worry about maybe is uh, <coughs> the broken light on the number two pencil or something like that once in a while, but uh, there again, you could always use a pen. So yeah, the WG-180 is the magic log book. It doesn't disappear or anything. The hard drive doesn't go bad on it. Uh, it's really a good way to go. So I thought that I'd throw that in there. Other than that, I don't know what I'm going to do today necessarily. The Bears are playing today, and my wife, of course, is a big Bears fan, so... The house will have to be quiet while they're playing, and we'll see how they do. But uh, that's about all that's going on, so I'll turn it back to you. Good morning to everyone on the breakfast club. Good to hear everyone. W9WJO, Kilowatt Echo, 9 of Norway. Okay there, uh, Kurt. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, I think you called John WJO there, but uh, oh, it made me have to look, Kurt. But uh, hey, JG over there. <laughs> anyway, I, I was thinking, uh, I don't remember hearing uh, another WJO over there, but that's all right. We've got it figured out. Yeah, but, uh, I use a mechanical pencil here. I've got a, oh, my favorite uh, pen pencil here. But uh, I don't have a backup, but 
Yeah, I, I like blue stuff. I got a blue pen, a blue eraser, and blue coffee cup. But uh, radios are all black. But, so I'm all black and blue there. But, but uh, on the way, though, I, I do have, I did get a electronic, uh, or I should just electric pencil opener here. And I think I used it once after I put batteries in it. But that's that's kind of a that's a long way down the list for a backup there, uh, Kurt. No, I understand. You know, you got to be careful about choking on this frequency. Oh, by the way, yes, I met JGO instead of uh, WJO. Sorry, I uh, goofed that up. But, yeah, uh, I use, uh, well, I got a black pen. My radio's black. And, uh, you know, you used to joke about stuff years ago. you got to be so careful. Everyone's so sensitive. And, geez, Louise, it goes on and on. You can hardly uh, joke with people anymore. Uh, the, the world is just so sensitive, but yeah, I got everything that's black, and, and I got some old radios. You know, they're kind of like I like my uh, my coffee and my women, hot and black. Okay, well I think I better get on down the list here now, but uh, <laughs> anyway, no, I, I did find my regular pet lawyer. No, it's a, an, an HB2 uh, Mirando Black Warrior. So it's, it's black, too, with a couple of hearts on the end of it. I bought that. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's good for doing those final word puzzles. You what a big lead rounded off there so you don't tear through that cheap paper. Anyway, we better get with the list. We got a bunch here. So, uh, 7 3 Kurt, thanks for check, doing it. checking in. KDADCQ, uh, Dave, good morning, W9WJO, and stand by John, J8. T0VUW, Portable Zero, I gotta go, catch you guys later. <laughs> Checking in there, Dave, and uh, yeah, Gary, you still around? We can get you in here. Uh, T zero VUW, come on in, have a cup. Now you must have been on really short time there. So uh, anyway, uh, with that, I'll. Uh, Go ahead and pass it over to John, N0JA. Good morning, W9WJO in the Breakfast Club. Stand by phone, SKY. Yeah, W9WJO in the D.C. from N0JA, Bowling Green, Missouri, where it's 23 degrees in the backyard and uh, uh, no wind and no snow. But uh, the uh, forecast looks like uh, a pretty strong promise of... Uh, fair amount of snow today and tomorrow. Anyway, we'll see whether that whether that checks out or not. The uh, the weather map shows it's not too far away. Anyway, uh, real good morning to you and everybody on the BC. Uh, Copy to everybody in pretty good shape. There's a lot of racket in the background here this morning from uh, stuff that's a lot weaker than we are. But anyway, uh, that's the situation at Bowling Green, and I, I got to go, too. I'm like VUW. I got to get moving here, so we'll catch you later. W9WJO and 0JA73. 28 degrees in Bowling Green. Okay. Uh, all right. Thanks for checking in there, uh, John. And uh, I got your 23 degrees. And uh, let's see here. Was that you, Mike? Okay, I had, well, I had a check in. Who was that? Uh, 
All right, I got WJK and uh, UIF there. So, uh, all right, well, we'll get the uh, list going here and say good morning to Paul. Or W8FKY in the Breakfast Club, W9WJO, and stand by Gene, GZ. Yeah, they're, uh, 
Yeah, that's what I do, too. It's an easy way of doing it. You don't have to. And they're, and they're lighter weight. Don't, uh, you get a pair of five buckles on, uh, you better be in good shape. Can you? I, I don't know. Can you even buy a buckle at the uh, overshoe anymore? It's kind of like those rubber uh, things, what they we used to pull over our shoes, you know. They just call them rubbers, and you pull them on over your shoes. But I haven't seen any of them around for years. Well, if you want to see some bad enough, I'll uh, have to throw some in my truck. <laughs> I, I, if I can find them, because uh, that's why I like the pull-ons, because they're, they're just so uh, lightweight compared to those uh, buckles there. But I guess you can tell I, li I lived on a farm there, can't you? That's, way, uh, that's what we had to do there. And uh, But I was younger, and uh, it seemed like it was a lot easier to do that when you're younger. They would walk around with those uh, four buckles or five buckles, whatever. <laughs> anyway, thanks for checking in, Gene. We'll get with the list here. So, uh, 7 3 to you, uh, unless you have some other comments. Go ahead. No, I don't have anything more. Uh, uh, 7 3. All right, good enough. I have a, I have a copy there for me at, uh, at the. Uh... Oh, I just lost it. I know where it is. <laughs> Route A and 61 there. So, uh, W8CJJ, good morning, Mike. W9WSJO in the breakfast club. Stand by uh, Steve, the uh, YTH. Okay there, Mike. I had to pencil down my notes here about the grocery bags over your shoes. Now, that's something handy because uh, I remember when I wore those all the time. Boy, you never could get your shoes out of them, go ahead. so I don't get uh, ticks or anything down in there. But uh, anyway, 
Thanks for checking in there, Mike. 7 3 to you, and good morning to uh, Steve. Katie Zero, YTH in the Breakfast Club, W9WJO, and stand by Bob, uh, VGO. W9WJO in the Breakfast Club. This is Katie Zero, YTH, Steve over by New London, Canada. Good morning, Earl. Good morning to everybody on the net. Boy, the band sounds like it's in really good shape now. We're currently 22 degrees over here, waiting for the snow to come in. According to the radar, it should be here already, but uh, I haven't looked out the door for a little while, so I don't know for sure if it is snowing or not. We're only supposed to get up to 28 degrees today, and depending on what forecast you look at, we can get up to maybe four inches today, another couple inches tomorrow with uh, some freezing rain things in on with, the, uh, with all of it. i got to get outside pretty quickly here and uh, let the dog out of her pen and uh, and make sure the horse has still got me out there so he can make it through also. But anyway, uh, uh, Earl, I think we're not going to do that much today. Probably stay pretty close to the house. I don't want to get out in any ice. It's, uh, the ground's too hard to fall down anymore. Uh, w 9 wjo kd 0 ych no, yeah, you reminded me of yesterday, you know, uh, I was out there doing that 15, 20-minute job, I thought. I was just pulling up the wire out of the ground there. I was trying to, uh, well, anyway, my long story short, I forgot. You know, I put that in over 15 years ago or better, and I had to bury that some conduit. So, uh, two hours later, I, uh, I got it about two-thirds of the way done, and I got stuck. I got tree roots growing around it and everything else, and uh, I said, well, I got enough wire to go where I want to go, so uh, that's a springtime job now. I got cold and wet and tired and all kinds of stuff there, besides being muddy. <laughs> and I got to thinking, gee, I'm not 20 anymore. I'm going in the house to have some coffee. What do you think? Well, I noticed that everything takes longer to put it used to it. Boy, yeah, that wire growing down the ground, getting all those roots in, that makes it really tough to get out. Well, so I'm getting a shed put in. I figured I could run that over there, but uh, yeah, that was my idea. I got enough I can get it in there when, when the shed gets here. <laughs> so uh, at least I can have electricity in there because uh, that thing's... Uh, I thought it was going to be here in October. Well, that didn't happen, and I still haven't seen it. So uh, well, that's what I get for getting a custom built when they're uh, high. So uh, thanks for checking in, Steve, and um, 7-3. WB9BGO. Good morning, Bob. W9WJO in the breakfast club. Stand by Marlin, AUX. Okay, a very good morning to you, Earl, and everyone on the breakfast club. This is WB9BGO. Bob is down in Earl, Illinois, and... Uh, I'm just trying to think of the receiver I had that break. It just escaped me there, but uh, I can see the thing. <laughs> you got me thinking of that. Uh, oh, it had a Q multiplier on it. Help me out there. Uh, Drake 2B? Yeah, that's it. And uh, you got me thinking of that. I, I kind of regretted getting rid of it, but I just, I was on a mission there. I got rid of everything with tubes in it. But, uh, yeah, now I, I kind of wish I had some of that stuff, but uh, you know, you gotta. I just, uh, well, I had back surgery and you know, all that stuff weighed so much, and I had help getting it out and getting rid of it, and uh, 
But uh, now I kind of wish I'd kept some of it, but that's the way it goes. Yeah, that's it. When you have it, you want to sell it for something new, and then when you have something new, you're looking back for the old stuff. Oh, that get me on AM. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but I can do it with this, but I just thought it'd be fun to have one of those. But anyway, thanks for checking in here. And uh, uh, thanks for having three to you. And let me go ahead and pick up uh, Chuck here. Uh, let's see here. I forgot your prefix. I didn't even get it down here. ZHB, go ahead and pick it up there, uh, Chuck. All right, well, thanks for checking in with me. It's been a while since I, uh, since I heard you, and uh, yeah, if I wasn't in such a hurry and hustling around here, I could have pulled your call out. But it, uh, <laughs> I just had to think for a while, and I didn't have a while there, so I had you, had you help me out there. So, anyway, 7 3 U, thanks again. W-A-0-A-U-X, uh, Marlin, come on in and have a cup. W-9-W-J-O, and stand by Vern, U-I-F. Get stuck in the snow there. I uh, I was looking on the radar. It looks like it's snowing here, but I haven't seen a flake coming down yet. It, uh, famous last words there, eh? Hey? All right, call seven three. Thanks for checking in, Marlin, and uh, good morning to Vern. W five U I F W nine W J O in the breakfast club. Yeah, W nine W J O in the BC. W five U I F over in Palmyra, Missouri, just across the river from her. And we've got 22 degrees over here. We don't see anything on the ground here yet either. I'd uh, be glad to stay that way. I, I, uh, we don't like that white stuff. But it uh, looks like we're going to have to live with it tomorrow for sure. So uh, at least uh, I hope the roads are decent Tuesday so we can get over there and be at your coffee clutch. So uh, other than that, not much going on here. Trying to get over this cotton pick and head cold. So back to you. W9WJO on the BC, w 5 u out. All right there, Bird. Got you 22 degrees. It's trying to get up to 20 here, but uh, it's been 19 since I've been up. It's 19.8 to the 19.1 or two. So <clears throat> it's it's no, oh, just slipped over 19.9 just as I looked over there. So, uh, well, by the way, it's the end of my list. There, anybody else want to get in on the breakfast club? W9 WJO WB6 AMY. And zero YWB. W zero TRD. KT zero KMO. Whiskey zero golf Delta. Oh my! I got a bunch here, and I missed. Then we got AMY, WYB, RRE, and TRD. I think it was KMO and, what was that, GD, was it? Uh, USL. All right, now well, let's see here. I'm just trying to uh, get a couple things done here. All right, well, let's go to, uh, I think that was WB6 AMY here. I didn't, didn't get all your... Uh, all down, but uh, is that you, uh, Calvin? All right, you're working overtime again. Every time I talk to you, you're on overtime. Anyway, it's 10 degrees here. I, I only been up a few minutes. 10 degrees, going up to about 19, I believe. One of the cold days, but it's going to warm up again. Get up almost 40 pretty soon. So good thing. Anyway, you're you're 10 over. Big signal. 
Yeah, and you got quite a few on the list. Uh, you know, just turn them over to TRD, Mark down there. He likes to take them, and he'd do it for you if you don't want to. It'd be a good idea. I'm just saying that, you know. You know how it is? You've got to uh, assign somebody something. WB6AMY, thanks. You watch yourself. Uh-uh. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to get rid of anybody here, really. So, uh, <laughs> that's fine. But, uh, well, anyway, thanks for checking in there with your 10 degrees, uh, Calvin. And, uh, yeah, I got to get caught up here. I thought things were over, and then I ran out of paper, so I missed a couple calls there. I had to flip the pad over here, open it up and uh, work on the second page here. But, uh, yeah, I, I've got a, a, a Staples uh, where I get my pads from, so uh, I don't have the WG uh, prefix on my pad there. I... All right, with that, uh, 373 to you, Calvin, and say good morning to Bob, N0YWB. Uh, How's it going up there? Is it supposed to get any snow today? I really don't know, but uh, right now it's four degrees here in Amana, Iowa, in the Iowa River Valley. Uh, no wind, uh, kind of a gray day, but a uh, good day to sit around and just wrap presents, get ready for Christmas. And uh, good morning to Mark over there in Iowa City. Uh, I was over at the Eagles uh, Friday night uh, with some friends uh, listening uh, to uh, Notes from the Underground. Uh, uh, I used to make fun of geezer rock bands, but I guess now that I'm a geezer, it uh, fits. <laughs> but anyway, I had a good time, and uh, hope everybody else is having a good weekend. Uh, back to you, N0YWB. Okay, there, uh, Bob. Uh, we're down good at 4 degrees there. Boy, just officially hit 20 right now. At least I looked at it and flipped over there. So uh, it's on the rise, but I don't think it's going to be anything to brag about. So uh, thanks for checking in, and 7-3 to you, and uh, good morning, Robert. KJ4RRE at the Breakfast Club, W9WJO. Stand by Mark, TRD. W9WJO, this is KJ4RRE. Thanks for being the original man. Just to move you to be in this morning. I know it's just a little bit late. I'm at 34. 34 degrees and overcast skies. Sunday morning coming down on a Sunday morning sidewalk. 
here on the fancy schmancy thermometer, Earl. No wind right now. I do see a 13, wow, a 13 mile an hour gust up there, so it must be blowing around. We're putzing around on the on the train set up here, at the train platform. Uh, my son's coming back for, for Christmas with his family from San Diego. That's going to be a gas, and he does trains too, and, and I had a couple bare spots, and I had to at least get some ground cover on them. So I'm hustling, playing in the paint and the cat litter and, and making up making up dirt. And uh, and I put down some road bed yesterday and got, I'm getting that squared away, having fun here. That's probably what I do today because it's cold, 11 decimal 8 here, Earl, and, and, um, and not expecting much, maybe 25 degrees today. Now I'm watching that stuff down there, Jeff City, and over to St. Louis, and looks like it's looking up our way, and, and we could get wet. They're talking maybe a chance of some white fungus among us. There you go, good morning, Robert, down there and hop on the hill. Fungus among us is right. We're going to uh, chance of some snow before midnight. We'll see what happens. All right, there you go. Good morning to you. Gave you time to go fill up your cup. W0TRD out, hanging out, being cool. Best 7-3. Good morning, Mark. And you're, you're, you and Earl, I think, got the most check-ins. You turned some over to the others, too. But I think you got more check-ins than other net control. You and Earl. WB6AMY, I'm clear. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, I know we had a, had a good time up there at uh, Iowa City. Even, and then, too, uh, we had to have some more fun over there in Havana, there at the uh, Millstream. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, no, a guy could get lost over in the Havana. That'd be another place to have the event, actually. They got the facilities, and, and there's certainly enough to offer in that community for folks for a short weekend, you know? Oh, yeah, I had, I had a blast there, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I always enjoyed uh, running down to the Millstream there. <laughs> That was, uh, that was good stuff. Okay, man. Well, go get them. You're having a good net here. Thanks for what you do. W0TRD. Good morning, Ollie. At best 7-3. Now, 7-3, Mark. We've got two more to go. And by the way, I think I missed the check-in or so. Anybody got a check-in? Uh, I don't have one right now. Mark, I'm going to have to go through here. I think I missed the check-in. Uh, I think I missed the check-in. Uh, I think I missed the did I double with somebody? Come again? I thought I heard somebody underneath me when I had a key there. Sorry about that if I uh, missed somebody. Well, good morning, Ron. KC0, KMO, W9WJO. Stand by uh, Dale, uh, GD. Okay, Earl. Well, thank you for running late this morning. I hope you get overtime pay. Hello, everybody out there. I've got uh, 23 degrees in the little village of Nortonville this morning, and it is currently snowing. It's supposed to snow all day. Depending on which report you look at, it's going to be 2 to 7. I hope the 2 is closer. Uh, not going to get out of the 20s today. Uh, it's supposed to actually get pretty cold tonight, but uh, that's that's that time of year. It is, it's pushing Christmas, so we should all be expecting it. Earl, once again, thanks for running late. I know uh, I know you usually quit at 8 o'clock, but you were still in here, so I keyed up and said hello. I hope everybody has a great day. KC0, KMO, back to you. Okay, uh, Ron. Did, uh, I've got uh, 23 degrees, is that right? That's correct, 2-3. All right, so I was kind of busy doing some stuff here, and I thought, uh, uh, I was uh, I was lagging a little behind on my right there. Go ahead. Well, I kind of mixed it in with my conversation anyway, Earl. All right, that's all right. It, uh, you know, I'm on overtime, so uh, <laughs> sometimes I uh, get a little too relaxed, I guess. But no, I have to fill up my coffee cup and do a bunch of stuff. It's busy around here, but that keeps me sharp. You know, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> well, there you go, Earl. Well, you do a fine job. You really do. Uh, just outstanding. KC0, KMO. Yeah, as long as I'm not outstanding in the yard right now, that'd be just fine there. So, 7-3, Ron, and uh, I look forward to next time. Uh, W0GD, uh, Dale, W9WJO in the breakfast club. Stand by, uh, Dan. Comment. 
<laughs> no, we got a comment. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, Ron. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no problem. Earl can use all the help he can get, too. Over? <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. WCRTRD back to net, Earl. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, health is a good thing sometimes. All right, W0GD, go ahead, Dale. Okay, good uh, morning, Earl, and uh, everybody's listening out there in the Breakfast Club. Uh, this is Dale in Minnetonka, Minnesota, and we got a whopping zero degrees uh, out there east. <laughs> and I don't know, we got to maybe two below last night. But it's that time of year, I guess. At least we're going to have a white Christmas, so that's kind of nice. And, uh, Earl, I really appreciate you running late, because I kind of like to get in here and listen to you guys and uh, like to talk out here on the So, anyways, thanks for running late. So, uh, W9WJO, Earl, Whiskey Zero Golf Delta, everybody have a good day. All right, we're well, right on the line there, huh? Zero. Well, that's uh, not quite as bad as uh, Hank's up there, but uh, anyway, <laughs> well, it's that time of year, so. I guess winter isn't officially here, but it ought to be. What is that? Another another week, maybe? Oh well, I can't. I'm not gonna. I can't. Can't turn around right now and see. I got my calendar behind me here. So uh, thanks for checking in there, Wim. We're glad to stick around here. We like uh, getting in here with people in overtime and all that stuff. That's but that's why I don't want to ever do the uh, previous hour because. If I had to go to two and a half or three hours of it, I would just be, uh, you wouldn't be able to understand me anymore. My voice would give out. And I'm not just kidding there, so. 7-3, I'll say good morning to uh, Dan, I believe it is. Uh, KM9X, good morning, W9WJO. There, uh, Dan. Now you're number uh, 38 on the check-ins today, so I got a pretty good list uh, that's going here. So I thought I might hit 40, but it's not over yet. You are the last one on my list, though. So, uh, but I think I missed um, a couple of them here, but uh, I never heard the calls back, so I don't know if everybody's going yet or not. But, uh, anyway, thanks for checking in there, and uh, from over in Indiana. You know, got an idea. I know uh, Ed down there is Starlight. You ever talk to him? No, okay. Well, he's on 40 meters. He's on the 6-8 group there and uh, does that once in a while. 
and uh, got to know him there. So, uh, but hey, he's just outside of Louisville there a little bit uh, on the uh, Indiana side. I know him from the sixteen group there's uh what is that? Uh seventy two sixty eight on forty meters. They get uh together from two to what is that? Two to four central time, I guess it is. I have to give it my time and, and I don't know if we're gonna get messed up or not. You know, uh I always say I never I never did know what what uh, time it was when I was in Indiana, but I think next year Illinois is going to be about as bad because they're, they're going to stay on daylight savings time, I think. Because I could, I clean jobs and I knew how to do it, so I uh, did that for a while and decided I like to uh, be home more. So, uh, but I did have fun doing it. Though. A lot of it, the fun I had was on uh, my HF rig and my uh, and a dual bander in my uh, on my rig there. So, hey, uh, I, I got to know people and uh, all over the place. I have coffee with guys over in Maryland and West Virginia and. Two places there like that. When, uh, you know, when you go down the same route all the time, it's nice to sit down and have a cup of coffee with somebody uh, you knew there. Go ahead. Checking in with me there, Dan. So we're seven three to you. So uh, well, that's the end of my list. Anybody else want to get in on the Breakfast Club here? Um, w nine W J O. You run out of gas. Anyway, you're ten over yet, and Tyler still a good signal, the same as when you first come on W B six A M Y. And over in South Dakota, Cal K zero P I R. Hey there, Rich. You sound good here, too. I didn't look at the meter. I was looking out the window to see if I got to feed the Blue Jays and that. No birds here yet. So anyway, you sound good here. WB6AMY. All right, I'm going to just uh, officially close the breakfast club at 38 uh, check-ins. Uh, thanks, everybody, uh, for checking in at 7-3. And uh, I'll close this session the uh, breakfast club. And... Uh, if anybody wants to stick around for informal after breakfast club, I'll be here until the coffee pot runs dry. W nine W J O. Thank you, Earl, for doing the net, buddy. KC zero KMO.